So I'm a total board gamer. Um, I'm a gamer. I'm not a gamer. Like, people say they're a gamer and they kind of mean World of Warcraft or, you know, whatever, whatever these online gaming um, things are. I don't do that. But um, I'm, I'm like a gamer from way back. Um, uh, I do board games and card games. And that's just how I was raised. My family was always doing board games and stuff like that. And I just love them, you know. At some point I got taught spades and, and, and I'm just into it, you know. And... Um, but, much like my list of foods that I have that everyone likes but me, um, I could go into that, I can pause and talk about that at some point, but put that on, on hold for a second. Um, I have two games that you'd think for a gamer that I would completely be all over, but I don't. And one of them is Monopoly. Uh, I don't know, I'm just a socialist. I can't really get into Monopoly. It's a... Uh, it's, a, it's pretty much all about capitalism. It's all about, like, making money and, like, charging people rent. And, um, it, you, like, send people to jail. Like, what? Um, the thing about that game, like, I can get into it for a while. Like, I like money. I do, even though, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm a socialist. I like money, you know. I like to get a nice stash. I like to, I suppose, buy hotels or whatever. The thing is, you can't buy hotels unless you have all three properties of whatever thing you got going on. And at some point, like, unless you're just extremely lucky, which I suppose some are. That's part of capitalism, right? Like, some people are just lucky. But unless you're extremely lucky, you either have to buy properties from people or you have to... Um, eventually you just have to trade with people if the, if they're into that. And some people just aren't. They're just very stubborn. And that's where my, you know, kind of socialistic or altruistic nature comes in. And I just want to be like, look, I have two red, you have two yellow. I have one yellow, you have one red. Can we just trade and, like, get this over with so then we can proceed with the rest of the game and building hotels and, you know what I mean? Like, let's just get this to its natural conclusion and then see what happens. And then the people just won't do that and then they're just douchers about it and then it's like this game is going on for like four hours but nothing's even happening. We're just going around passing go like basically like living paycheck to paycheck. I mean that's that's right? I mean that's the essence of that. You go around, oh good I got a paycheck. Oh I paid a bunch of rent. Oh like you know you're like eight and you don't even understand like that's exactly like what's gonna be happening to you and you know like I don't even know, like, 12 years or something like that. It's like, oh, this, you know, as I sit here and say this, it's like, I didn't realize, like, how much that was going to suck. And that's why I should have known, like, why I was not having a good time playing the game. Because it was really going to suck. Life was going to suck. I was just going to live paycheck to paycheck and pay rent. Like, yay, that was really fun. I should have actually got a clue about that. The other game that everyone loves to play, or at least pretends to love to play, that you'd think I love, because I'm totally about words, I love words, I love crosswords, I love uh, games with words, like taboo and categories, and like, yeah, word game, word game. Um, Scrabble. Don't like Scrabble. At the beginning, again, it's like Monopoly. At the beginning, it seems fun, like, yeah, I have seven letters, like, what kind of fucking word am I going to make? you know, out of these seven letters. But you have people who are specifically Scrabble savvy. Like, that's all they want to do is play Scrabble. And, I mean, Scrabble has its own dictionary, which is weird. Because you'd think if you were playing a word game, that you'd use the dictionary. Like, the real dictionary. Merriam-Webster, Oxford, the dictionary where words are and are spelled and defined. But no, Scrabble has its own dictionary. And so people who play Scrabble all the time like know this dictionary and they like memorize the dictionary and they there's like a bunch of two letter words in this dictionary. It's like are these even words? Are these Scrabble words? Like what the fuck? So then again what ends up happening is everyone plays, everyone plays, everyone plays, and then at the end you have three letters that don't fit in anything on the board. And so you can, like, essentially you can give them up and have points minus. I think you can eventually, like, 
put them in and grab new letters, but then you lose your turn. And so then it's just, it's ridiculous. The other thing about Scrabble and people who play Scrabble a lot, it's like chess. I'll take some time and try and find a really good word. But not to the point where it's like, okay, I spend a little bit of time, I look, I try and find the best word I can, I lay it down on the board. But it's a game. I want to be involved in it. I want to be interested in what I'm doing. I don't want to sit while watching you think about your word for 12 minutes. But I also can't talk to you because you're trying to think of a word. And God forbid there's four people playing Scrabble and then we start talking too loudly or too much and then you get pissed because again, you're trying to concentrate and think of a word. Ooh, I'm sorry, why is this fun at this point? Like, no one can talk, no one, like, you know what I mean? And so, I mean, and again, like, this tape, like, you know what I mean? Like, I go, I can like, you know, make food, shit, shower, come back, and, like, you're still, like, trying to think of, like, the, you know, most amazing word you can make out of seven letters, one of which may be an X. And it's like, come on, people. Like, this is not fun to me. This is not fucking fun. Like, you know, and then I lay down a word, and you're like, no, you can't use that. That's a proper name. And then you lay down some fucking, like, three-letter word that's in the Scrabble dictionary. I'm like, isn't there just one fucking dictionary? The dictionary? Not the Scrabble dictionary? I don't know. That's insane, people. This is fucking insane. I don't know. It's like, it would be like, uh, you know, I don't even know. Like having, having a math book and having rules to math, except for having like Monopoly math. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, actually, you oh, mine is a different because it's mono It's the Monopoly math book. It's actually you minus it, but then you get a hundred more dollars because it's Monopoly math. Like no, it doesn't work like that. Math is math. Spelling is spelling. The dictionary is a fucking dictionary. So, so yeah, Monopoly and Scrabble. You'd think I would like those games, but uh, I don't really. I don't really. And fuck risk. I don't know, again, political people or whatever, people like war. I don't really know who you people are who like the risk. But again, long, drawn out game, lots of weirdness. To, I've only tried to play it one time and I was just like, this is obviously not for me. I don't really know. No, this is obviously not for me. I'm a, a warmonger and I like to throw dice, but I'd rather you teach me, you know, the the finer aspects of crabs, which my grandma actually did when I was like 10 years old on a real crabs table because my uncle was teaching crabs and blackjack. So they had real, they, she had a real blackjack and crabs table in her basement. Kind of bizarre to teach like a 10 year old. My sister was like eight. So kind of an odd skill to, to have when you're 10. But man, I knew every bet. I knew every nuance of the crabs table. So Fortunately, I still don't uh, hold those skills, but um, it was something I once possessed at a very young age. So, anyway, that uh, that's uh, that's my that's my riff on board games, part one, because I could riff on many board games, but that's what I got for now.